Hi everyone, it is Deb from Just Short of Crazy. Welcome to my channel, thank you so much for joining me. Today I want to share with you some books from my bookshelf, some new books for my bookshelf maybe is what I should say. Hmm. I have to think about that. Anyways, I um, received some books in the mail. I've purchased some magazines. I have an envelope here to open that has a book in it. I can tell from the feel. So I just want to share with you what what is up next, or I guess what's being added to my ever-growing reading pile. My books are over here. I should show you a picture, but it's such a mess. I got piles there and I got piles over here. And I have a birthday coming up, so I'm really, really hoping that Alan will give me the gift I've been asking for, and that is some built-in bookshelves for my office. So we will see. Anyways, on to the books for this month. So I have, these were sent to me in a book swap. So I know I've shared that with you guys in the past that I'm part of the Litsy app, L-I-T-S-Y app, and that's all for avid readers and people that love to read and share books and recommend books. So. I was in a swap and they sent a couple books to me. This one's called The Wedding Date and it's by Jasmine Gullo. Nope, can't say it, not sure. Y'all can just read it there. Um, so this looks really cute. I love the pretty red binding, not gonna lie. I was looking for some red bind bound books the other day and I couldn't find any and all my massive amounts of books. So now I have one. And the other one I got was from Nora Roberts, Shelter in Place. I love Nora Roberts. Um, I really like her writing as J.D. Robb, which is the murder mystery series set in the future. Um, so I like these, but J.D. Robb series, I'm looking for a book because I know I have a J.D. Robb somewhere close by here. Um, if you haven't read those, read those. They're a lot of fun. And then this book was sent to me by the publisher. And I can't wait to do more in-depth with this because I think I'm going to have my niece join me in a little review of Bigfoot Fun Book. Over 80 stickers inside, puzzles, coloring pages, and fun facts. You guys, how cool is that? Like This is like right up my alley. So all kinds of puzzles in here. I don't think I can give this away. I think I will have my niece maybe do some of the puzzles with me, but... Uh -uh. This stays at my house. This is a when you go to visit type of activity book. But how fun is this? And I know there's a whole Bigfoot series that's listed right here on the back. So if you like the weird and the strange and the bizarre, there you go. Again, another fun book. This would be fun for Christmas Eve for the kids. Have them open a book and then they have um, activities to entertain them that night. The next book was also sent to me by one of my favorite people, Carolyn Eubanks. She wrote This Is My South. That is also the name of her website, This Is My South. She is so much fun to travel with. We've been fortunate to be on a couple trips together. Um, and she put this book together, full color photographs throughout, all kinds of great details. It covers every state in the South, uh, tells us where we should eat, where we should stay, where we should go, what we should do, what we absolutely should not miss. And then she has a few like, reading recommendations and movie recommendations to get you in the mood for the South. But here's like an index page to give you an idea. I love this book. Love it. I'm adding so many places that I need to go to my travel list. Um, this will be my guide. This will be what I refer to when I'm planning my next vacation down South. So you're going to want to pick up a copy of this. Even if you don't think you're going to travel to the South, I would say pick this up and just do a little bit of armchair traveling. Just sit at home, grab yourself a cup of wine, glass of wine, cup of coffee, whichever you like, maybe hot cocoa, it is turning to winter, and just sit down and read through the book. Um, there are places in here I didn't have any idea about, and I thought I had covered the South pretty well. Apparently not good enough. So this is a great resource. So this is my South by Carolyn Eubanks. Be sure to pick this up. It has a price of $21.95, so we know it'll be a little cheaper on Amazon. So again, a great gift for the holidays. And then some magazines I picked up. Um, I have a slight addiction to magazines. I haven't been reading as many in the last few months as I usually do, um, but I couldn't pass up some. I, I bought them to call it research. So I have uh, Martha Stewart Living, the Thanksgiving one. I don't know why I marked this page. It might just be where I left off in the book. Um, but I did leave off at a pretty wreath. So there's that. Um, I don't buy this one very often, but 
Um, for some reason, it grabbed me to pick it up at the store. Might have been the price point, quite honestly. And then I picked up a food magazine, and it's all about Thanksgiving. Um, and again, I have just random bookmarks where I left off. Oh, let's see. Oh, this had a really cool section in here about the new table runners and different materials you can use for that. And there's wrapping paper and contact paper and um, like brown paper. It was, it was kind of some really cool ideas. So I really did like that. So I think that's why I have that mark there. And then the last magazine I picked up was Bake From Scratch. And look at all the delicious stuff I can't eat. Um, well, I can eat it, but then it stays on my hips and it doesn't make me very happy. Um, but I'll probably bake some stuff for the holidays. They have all kinds of, and I told Alan I bought it for the photography, for research, but really they need these to be scratch and sniff so I can just get my fill. This was all about Dutch oven bread. We just bought a large Dutch oven. I'm looking for, oh yeah, but it's still in my office. Um, so I'm gonna try some of this bread. We bought the Dutch oven for camping, but we haven't cleaned out the camping gear for my office yet. So I will take it and make some bread. So anyways, this is bake from scratch. Uh, the recipes from what I've read so far, very easy to follow. So I like that. So that's everything. That's all the books that are new to my shelf this week. Oh, wait, I almost forgot to open this one. I can feel there's a book in here. So let me open this and see. This is also from, um, the people on my Litzy app. So if you're not over there, I highly recommend it. I'm Deb Thompson, no O's in the Thompson over there. Um, and I'm part of a group there called um, Just Because. And so we just randomly send notes or treats to people just because. So um, this was sent to me. They scribbled their name and they gave me their Litzy name. J-A-S-16, it looks like, is their Litzy name. Anyways, it's Tell the Wolves I'm Home. Oh boy, I think, I think I'm gonna like that. I've heard good things about this. So I'm adding that to my list as well. So thank you very much. Um, oh gosh, I'm so excited. It's so fun to get surprises in the mail just, just because. And I love sending surprises as well. In fact, this is a good reminder. I need to get some of that done. So anyways, there you have it this week from my shelf. Uh, I don't think I have any other new ones right now. So I want to do this at least every couple weeks. I would like to do it weekly, but I think every other week will probably suffice or maybe even monthly. So we'll see what happens. But anyways, I hope you're having a great day. I hope you are reading some great books. Leave me a note below telling me what you're reading, what you recommend. I'm always looking for new books to add, especially if they're weird or paranormal or ghost focused. I really love those. Go ahead and add a link or a title or something. Let me know what you're reading. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and I hope you guys have a great day. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.